Hey everybody, welcome back to Bears versus Board Games. I'm Chris, and it's been a while since we've seen each other, but I have a new unboxing video for you. Today we have Steam Up, A Feast of Dim Sun by Pauline Kong, uh, Murray Wong, and Heyman Lee, and published by Hot Banana Games. This is the deluxe edition. It just came in yesterday, and it's still a little bit shrink wrap. So let's get to it. A little knife. So this game, you are playing a uh, one of the twelve zodiacs uh, of the Chinese zodiac, and your job is to eat as much dim sum as possible. Uh, more than everyone else, and you're trying to clean the, the table off. The little, there's a lazy Susan, plastic sounds, throw that away. Um, and this, as you can see, just from the box itself, it's just hilariously cute. I mean, you get little food, you get little, those little bamboo trays that they use to steam food up, and it just looked hilarious. Everyone was into it. So, uh, rule book, slightly bent in the box. Oh, well, things happen. That's okay. Um, let's see. Lots of pictures. Lots of pictures. Telling you everything. It's a good old setup page with lots of direction. And looks like different types of cards. Uh, which zones you can uh, purchase uh, steamers from. All kind of fun stuff. It is 15 pages. Not bad. Uh, we have the scoreboard there. We have the central board, which is a lazy Susan. This actually moves. This is amazing. I love it. This is hilarious. Oh! Feet. It has feet on the board so it doesn't slide around. That's very important. I like that. We have all the food in token format. Um, the tokens, there's rings. I probably won't need most of this because this is supposedly the deluxe version, so it has all of the little foods as items big old pack of cards food more food more food more food more food does everyone, everyone else have like 100 bags left over smaller cards uh, a gigantic gigantic die a nice big wooden die with stickers on it and you roll it i believe it's called the lucky die uh, and it tells you uh, what you get. There's only one side that's blank. Every other side has a food type on it. And of course, it came with a silicone in it to absorb moisture. Uh, tokens for each of the zodiacs and a bowl and a one of the little trays. Once again, I probably won't need these because I do have the little wooden meeples. Ooh, very nice. Oh, the interior is quite wonderful. Um, big, thick, heavy-duty cards for each of the animals of the Zodiac. So, apparently the tiger is a seafood lover, uh, rabbit, a magician. Uh, that seems very westernized, but maybe it is back there. I don't know. Uh, Silver Spoon Dragon. Uh, huh. <laughs> the Rooster is an angry customer. Uh, monkey, Naughty Kid. That's appropriate. Um, the Rat is a gambler. Uh, I'm a rat, uh, according to the Chinese Zodiac. Uh, horse is a speed eater. Interesting. Um, oxen. Is it an oxen? Yes, ox is a grandpa. <laughs> the Shih Tzu is a loyal customer. Uh, the Snake is a meat lover. Appropriate. 
uh, the pig, of course, is the food blogger of all, and the uh, goat is the uh, picky eater, which actually they're not. They, I believe, they're omnivores in a great sense. I'm sure they're more herbivore than than carny, but I believe that are kind of omnivores. Nice and heavy, nice and thick, and they all have their own unique little abilities. Um, every card is different. All kinds of things. It's over there. I'll see if I can get that back on. Probably will try. A little divider because these are the little dim sum holders. Just like the bamboo trays you would get at a restaurant, these are completely adorable. And they just stack up. There's lots of them. Let's see. Four by three is twelve plus another six, so eighteen altogether. And these just fill up with the goodies, and you just try to eat as many as you can, spinning around as we go. But this is a nice treat. This is quite beautiful, just inside art. Um, I mean, this is just cool. That they do that's something you only get to see when you take everything out of the box that's quite beautiful um in some ways you probably could take it out and extend it out and i don't know frame it maybe uh but that's just a lovely treat that they did for this box um good old bag to put all of the goodies in and we have Oh, they're squishy. They're squishy. That's very squishy. Uh, this looks like a seaweed roll or a... Um, what is this? Let's get the rules. What are the rules? What are the green ones? Ah, sticky rice. So the little tiny green one's very sticky. It's sticky rice. Uh, these are the cutest little dumplings. I'll get close-ups of these so you can enjoy them. These are cute little shrimp dumplings, little pink ones. These are adorable. Yeah, they're all little squishy things. Little, uh, I thought they were going to be wood. or But no, they're uh, not wood. Um, I just didn't feel make them think they were going to be uh, this. the feeling. These are BBQ meat buns. And we got a phoenix claw. This is braised chicken feet and black bean sauce. Gelatinous and tender, a dish that most people either love or hate. Chicken feet. Little tiny chicken feet. What else we got? What is this? Meat dumpling. Cute. Very cute. And the nice thing is, they actually give you the Chinese way of saying those things. Like a barbecue meat bun would be char siu biao. And the meat I'm looking at is siu mai, lo mai gai, feng zhao, and har gao. I mean, they give you, they, they're trying to teach you something. I love it. It's great. Yeah, we have tokens, which we don't need. 18 steamers. Oh, that big old bowl was a first player marker. I'm surprised they didn't come out with, uh, oh, speaking of, there it is. So instead of the token, nice wood token. For the first player, it's a nice wood token, uh, a bowl of a uh, dipping sauce, and a steamer counter. So yes, I won't be needing any of this because these are all taken care of by uh, the meeples and the wood pieces there. And this bag contains all of the uh, all of the wood meeples. And they're all screen printed, so they have figures on them. And a lot of them say 35, 35 plus. I'm not sure what that means. I will find out and enjoy it. Uh, we got a dice. We have some. These are the fortune cards. So this one just says, roll the lucky die and gain one token matching the result, which would be a food result. Remember, you're trying to eat as much as you can. 
as quickly as you can, better than everyone else. Um, well, that's true. It talks about peeking through the steamer slats. Yes, you can totally see through it. So yeah, as the food is sitting there, you could attempt to see what is below it. So all of these steamers will be filled with various foodstuffs as you're trying to go through it. This right here, I won't need, I don't think, I will need any of this except the two gigantic food rings which indicate what's available. Um, and what are these tokens? Feast zone markers. They're feast zone markers. They're these square pieces. Those don't exist anywhere else. So if you do get the deluxe edition, you won't need most of this, but it's nice to have, um, especially if a friend of yours gets the same game or if someone's missing pieces, so you can pass these on. So most of this will stay in the box never coming undone but then again i keep those things put them back in anyway um we have some cards and a lovely bag do i need my knife i think i need my knife so we have how to play cards that help. These are essential. Every game should have these. Even if it's just some of the simplest rules you can get. Every game should have just some simple things that everyone... When I when we play games, oh my goodness, It sometimes it takes us one to two runs through before we get it right at all. It's, it's embarrassing. It's like, hey, guess what we messed up last game? Uh, tons of cards with all kinds of events on them, rolling the dice, taking things, moving steamers around to reveal other steamers, all kinds of things. And they're so simplistic. They're so simplistic. You know, they're not inundated with tons of art. And that's good. You know, a lot of a lot of things from this part of the world the way they do simplicity makes it more beautiful than just filling every corner with something. And I mean, it has a little beautiful art on the bottom. And then just simple words. You don't need a card filled with color slapping you in the face every single time. What do we have here? These are the uh, fate cards, I believe. Where are my eyeballs? Yeah, fate cards. So these are the those are the uh, fortune cards. These are the fate cards. Yes, the the East, the Orient, the multiple of Asian cultures that have existed and have inspired many Western things. So I actually appreciate the simplistic things. I think most of all because it's. Just having a single character or a single kanji on a piece of paper and their calligraphy is beauty in itself. You don't need crazy things. Um, just these are all do this, do that. Very similar, very similar to these. Um, how they're introduced in the game, I'm not sure. Um, these actually look like, these look like they pop up once around or something because they talk about every player getting things or everyone doing something um so it looks like the fate cards institute a situation every round of the game so oh and i didn't know that but dim sum actually translates to touching the heart um well this game definitely has done that to me so far I will be playing this this Friday uh, on my game night, be perusing these rules, and I'm sure there's a how-to out there, probably from uh, Hot Banana Games himself. What a great name, Hot Banana Games. Um, is there a Hot Banana? Have we made one? Is, there, is that such a thing? But all of these lovely little foodstuffs, go into this nice big cloth bag with 
all the food stuff on it and words, which I'm assuming it probably is dim sun. Um, but that's, that's steamed up. It's a lot of things, a lot of wonderful things. Um, these are just the cutest. This is, this is just a cute game. Um, I think it's going to be lots of fun. It's, what's the age range on this? What do they put it at? Eight. Yes, definitely for kids, especially with the squishy bits. These squishy bits are great. And these, the only thing they should have offered were chopsticks. Because instead of taking them with your hand, you should take them with chopsticks. That should have been an add-on. And if it was, and I missed it, I'm annoyed, but I think this game would be perfect to play with chopsticks as you reach for it, grabbing, grabbing the items that you're needing. That would be adding to the cuteness. So this is a really cute game. Um, I think this is adorable. And the lazy Susan is very nice. Um, and it comes assembled already. Sometimes when you get a Lazy Susan, it's not assembled. It's you have to put it together. This one is permanently together. So this is really, really something cute. I like it. Um, it looked like a fun game. I'm sure it will be a fun game. Pants, so nice. So that is steamed up. Or, sorry, steam up. It is not steamed. It is literally just steam up. Let's get that right. So, steam up. Hop into games. Thanks, Pauline and Marie and Hyman. See you next time.